All right, so we're it's, we've had a lot of rain lately, and we're turning over the uh, compost, and we got some icky looking guys that are breaking down the compost. I think from all the rain, but I'm not sure what they are. I don't think they're anything too. I don't think there's anything that's going wrong in the compost right there. I'm not sure. I mean, it's just a new compost pile we had gotten started. Got crickets. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of these, whatever they are. I'll look and see if these are soldier fly larvae. I know that soldier fly larvae are a good thing. And that might be what these are. We might have gotten a, a population of soldier fly larvae moving in, but I'm not sure. I'll look into that. Turn it some more. And now, yeah, some of those, if they're, they're either soldier fly larga, larva or they're maggots, or they're a little bit of both. Because soldier fly larvae, I think, technically are maggots. Ew. Gross. That's why we needed to turn it over. Because it, you leave it too much and it's all the wetness in there. You encourage a little bit of bad composting to go on. There's a whole bunch of those things right there. Oh yeah, with the ants too. Almost in the same place. Turn over this again, because they all just hid. Yeah, whoa, not so high. I wanted to keep that bunch. I gotta look them up, because I think those may be soldier fly larvae, because you can actually use those for feeding fish and such if you're growing the compost pile just right. Uh, I don't know how you would gather them, I would hate doing it, but you collect them and then freeze them and then you can feed fish or whatever with them. Tweezers? Yeah, gloves for sure. And then we got ants eating up some of the scraps too. So there's two different ways you can do compost piles. There's one that you can do as a managed compost pile. And then you can just uh, build it up and let what happens happens. But when you do that, you don't really necessarily get that. If, if you put a good mixture in from the beginning, you'll probably get a good compost in the end. It may take longer. The managed or turned compost pile, you get a product quicker. Usually more even as well. So it, it can be good to turn the compost pile. It takes more work, just depends on what you're trying to get out of it. So this was underneath the far side. You can kind of see, I think this is where earthworms have actually come up in here and done some of the good work. I believe is what that is. You can see the little castings. These little bunches right there are called castings. I mean, it's basically, you kind of see it. It's in there too. He's already scraped it over. Um, it's basically poop, but it's mostly dirt with some bacteria mixed in, and it's supposed to be really healthy. It contains a lot of nutrients. Here's some of a smaller type, either younger earthworms or a smaller variety of, of earthworm, night crawler. I don't know if there'd be any red wrigglers in any of this. Probably not because those are a, usually an introduced type. There's some more. Hold on. There's some more of the uh, the maggots, whatever type they are. There's an earthworm. Oh yeah. Yep. Here's an earthworm. I thought you said right at the very beginning you saw one. 